Well, welcome. Thank you very much, all of you, for being here today. We stand together as state representatives and state senators to join our colleagues across the nation in every state, state representatives, state senators from all, the, all 50 states in support of the Affordable Care Act. And we have joined a friend of the court brief that will be presented to the U.S. Supreme Court today. Nearly 500 state legislative leaders have signed a brief in support of the Affordable Care Act that will be presented today. This is the Health Reform Act that was passed by Congress and signed by President Obama. The Affordable Care Act provides pr protections that families have been demanding. No one has said that our system of care did not need comprehensive care. You've heard the stories, bankruptcies, deaths, oh, we're so sorry, but your policy doesn't cover that, or your policy has been canceled, or your policy has reached a limit. We know that the current system is unsustainable. Not only are the rising premium costs unsustainable, but the rising number of uninsured in our state is also unsustainable. Did you know that we have nearly 2 million people in Georgia without health insurance? What a burden that provides for our hospitals. No, the argument is not about whether this is a good change or whether it was overdue. The argument is about who gets the credit. Who gets the credit for finally doing, making a change we all know is needed. And that is why elected leaders from all over the nation stand together to support the Affordable Care Act. We have some colleagues today who are going to talk a little bit about the specifics of the Affordable Care Act. I will start with my colleague from Augusta, Representative Gloria Frazier. Thank you. Good evening. Good afternoon. I'd like to thank all of my colleagues that are gathered with us today to support the Affordable Care Act. This is a measure that has been long awaited for. I represent Augusta, Georgia, rural Georgia. Here standing beside me and behind me are legislators from the metro Atlanta area and across Georgia. I want you all to know that I am a passionate advocate for our seniors and our small businesses. And for our small businesses, this Affordable Care Act will allow the businesses to be eligible for tax credits to help offset the cost of health insurance. Because as you all know, if we do not have healthy workers, we do not have revenue coming into the state. And so with healthy workers will increase the bottom line and the new credits will help small businesses recover and grow. And for our seniors, this law offers new preventive benefits. We have the fiduciary and the humane obligation to our seniors to make sure that we take care of them in their retirement years. And through the years, we have not done a good job at that. So this is why I support the Affordable Care Act, because now our seniors will have, this law will offer new preventive benefits, such as prescription drug discounts and more options for long-term care. The, care. the health care law also strengthens our Medicare, a vital program used for our seniors. There are one million young adults that have gained health insurance because of this Affordable Care Act. I remember when my daughter was in college, her insurance stopped at the age of 24. But with this new care, we can now enable our young adults to be covered up until the age of 26 years old under their parents' private health care insurance. So insurance companies can no longer deny coverage to our children with pre-existing conditions. I represent Burke and Richmond County, as in all counties. I am an advocate for sickle cell anemia. For the first time in my six years, I am very happy to say that now my sickle cell constituents can, can afford health care. They can no longer have to go to emergency 
hospitals to have uh, when they are in a crisis and when they are hurting very bad and they need help and they need medicine. So this act will afford that and it will reduce the cost for our emergency rooms which has, has an impact on all of us as far as the cost. So this law eliminates the amount of coverage a person can receive in a lifetime. It also outlaws insurance companies from dropping a person's coverage because they got sick or they have a pre-existing pre disease. So I am very, very proud of the work that the, the president and the congressional leaders have done to pass this Affordable Care Act. And I look forward in the years to come, because this, this, this measure will be spread out through many years for implementation that we have all Georgians covered on a health care system and we are able to have a healthy Georgia because a healthy Georgia is a working Georgia. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Frazier. And now the inimitable Senator Nan Orak. Thank you very much. It's, we're very proud to stand here together in solidarity with more than 500 legislators from across the country endorsing the constitutionality of the Federal Health Care Reform Act. The Affordable Care Act, passed by Congress, signed into law by the President, has given Georgians more freedom and more control over their health care choices. We've seen a difference here in Georgia in the time that the parts of this law have come online. And we are sending a strong message today by signing the amicus brief, the friend of the court brief, in support of the constitutionality. We all want to be in charge of our health care to make sure our families can get the care they need. And the health care law makes sure we all get affordable insurance and take personal responsibility. Because when people with no health insurance get sick, the costs are passed along to the rest of us. Having everyone take responsibility for their own care through the individual mandate started in the 90s as a Republican idea. It is now the law of the land. And constitutional law experts say the law is perfectly legal. Conservative judges have upheld it in court. We expect a ruling from the Supreme Court to support the constitutionality of this law. It's time to move forward. We can't go back to the broken system. All the states have health care costs that have spiraled uh, out of control. That is why the President and the Congress undertook to make major reforms to our health system. And as a result of the Affordable Care Act, we have had, uh, we expect 46,000 young people to go on their parents' insurance plan this year. Over a million young adults across the country have, have uh, been able to take advantage of that. All those on Medicare get mammograms and colonoscopies without the high co-pays. Why? Because we're taking a preventive approach on health care. We have received over $24 million in grants here in Georgia from the federal government, from the health services, to beef up our, our community health centers. Our, to beef up, we've received more than $24 million in federal grants from this law to beef up our health centers, to uh, bring in line more preventive services. And now you don't have to worry about being, uh, you can have lifetime coverage. Your insurance company can't drop your coverage. Children, um, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of Georgia children with pre-existing conditions now have to be covered by insurance. Uh, they cannot be turned down for a pre-existing condition. So this health care law is good news for Georgians. It's good news for our Medicaid budget. It's good news for our seniors. It's good news for our children, for our young people. And we stand here today proudly to say we support and endorse the friend of the court brief, and we stand behind the constitutionality of this law, and it's let's go forward, save money, save lives, protect our folks, and bring us into the 21st century with health care. Thank you. Thank you. I think you've gotten the message that we are part of a national movement of state elected legislators who have determined that it is important to support the Affordable Care Act and we we know the impact on Georgia so far has been very positive brought many people into insurance that before were locked out of our insurance system we hope that Georgia which has been in the underway preparing to implement this new, new law will continue to do so 
We think it's good for work, for our economic development, and we know it's good for all our citizens. Again, thanks to all my colleagues for being here today, and thank you for your participation.